Hello everyone, my name is Natalia Lauk and today we're going to be working on Sonatina in C major by Friedrich Kulau, Opus 55, number one. So I'm going to play it first in a slower tempo and I'm going to uh, turn on the metronome. So you go ahead and play along, maybe hands separately at first. So follow, I'm going to play hands together, but you follow me with hands separately and see how it goes, okay? Uh, it says Allegro, so it's a pretty fast tempo, but for now we're going to go one and two and three and four, so very slowly, okay? 60, like this. One and two and ready and go. One, Thank you. 
help you to get the essence of the rhythm of this piece, okay? So the next step would be practicing hand separately till you get it very comfortably, till you can get it absolutely with no problem. Um, and then, when you feel comfortable, I would start trying to get this uh, piece in tempo, okay? Because Allegro is fa fast and it's so much more fun to play. The... Remember to keep it very light, because if you tie your hands down to the keyboard, it's going to be very hard to move, and this piece is very, especially in Latin, So make sure you're not tying your or not gluing your uh, hands to the keyboard so you can move very freely, okay? So let me try and play it a little bit faster and then uh, we're going to go ahead and try the performance sample and see how it's going. So that was 64 quarter note. Let's see if we can do, let's say, 90. How does it feel? Okay, that's a good moderate tempo to keep working on your comfort. So let's see if we can do this one. Remember, you're starting piano, so very slow. One, two, ready, go. that you have to watch out for are uh, very specific. So if you look with me at the measure 48, you will see that in right hand, you have to follow the fingering. In, in right hand is going to be 3, 5, and then 3, 5, 4, and 4, 2, then 1, 3, okay? So make sure, so uh, you can find, if you're working from this edition, right? <laughs> I have to mention that it's actually developed an artist series book number four, Faber and Faber edition, which is pretty good. I really recommend this book. It's very good. So 
uh, make sure to follow that fingering. And you can actually find this piece on pages uh, 34, 35, and 36 of this book. So get this edition, it it's, uh, doesn't cost much. Um, also, a couple more things. Um, in right hand, there's still this interesting long, short, long, short pattern. If you look with me at page 34, <laughs> And measure five, six, seven. Measure five, six, seven, seven. Basically, you will see short first, and again long, short, and you will see those little um, arrows uh, on top. That means you have to accent. It's going to be bottom, bottom. So this makes it just more interesting than. good about that okay let's see if we can pull out the performance tempo I believe that's probably should be around 120 okay let's see well is it I actually think it might be faster let's see if it's fun to play 140 so I guess 120 is actually pretty good performance tempo if you intermediate player. But if you really want to push the limits and actually go like 140 per quarter not might be right place to go. So let's see if I can do that. I guess it's tricky to play anything in faster tempo. Hmm, goes pretty fast. Uh, let me actually do something to my metronome. One, two, ready, go. Ah, you see? <laughs> I actually think in 140 is not fast enough. Really. I really want to go faster. Like 60. So in this case, if you play in 160, um, it almost feels instead of being one, two, three, four, it's supposed to be fill into one, right? So it, it's actually going to feel uh, rather in two than in four. Okay, wish me luck. <laughs> and two and right two, ready, go. stuck because I wasn't ready to go. No. Okay, so I'm going to try it one more time and see if you can follow as well, if you're comfortable enough. One, two, three, four, one, two, go. the several passages and that means I didn't know this piece well enough. Well, I think you're gonna have better luck 
than me when you practice it a long time, not like me sight reading right now, uh, you will you will master those passages better. Just make sure not to again not to hold down those notes. Just move along. Um, let actually let me redo. Uh, I'm not going to do the entire thing, but I'm going to replay in better quality. I'm going to replay the so-called the re recapitulation section, which is going to start at measure 35. You will find it at, at actually page 35 and measure 35. How convenient, okay? And I'm going to do it in the same tempo. Let's see if I can do the better work and not to miss the notes I missed before, okay? One, two, three, four, one, two, go. Mm -hmm. faster tempo that's why I understand why my students always want to go faster it just it's just so much more fun uh, plus you can get to shape those lines better right it just okay let me know if you are able to get to tempo 160 or maybe even faster who knows good luck with this piece